Our first guest tonight is an actor and comedian you know best from the Jackass franchise. New episodes of his show Reboot are available to stream Tuesdays on Hulu. Let's take a look. Hey, Jer, you got a sec? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm in AA and I'm supposed to make amends with people I might have wronged, you know, back when I was overdoing it. Must be a hell of a list. <laughs> yeah, and since you're here, thought I might as well pop my cherry with you. Yeah, okay. I'll try to be gentle. Back then, I either came to work drunk, stoned, or hungover. I can't even remember season three. <laughs> but shouldn't have done it. Filled with regrets. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, Clay, thanks for those heartfelt words. Good. OK, boys, take him up. Please welcome to the show our friend Johnny Knoxville, everybody. <laughs> I'm really happy to have you here. I was also really happy to hear you on the wonderful uh, Dana Carvey, uh, David Spade podcast, where you uh, you came clean about something you did to me when you hosted SNL in 2005. A accidentally did to you. I do not. We have video proof here. Okay. But first, let's... I want to show this. So this is your monologue. I want to show people how it was written. This is how it was written for the actual night. It goes, Seth comes on stage, tackles Johnny, and then, uh, uh, sorry, here's where it is. This is the important thing. System of a Down is here, so stick around. We'll be right back. Then Seth hits Johnny in the nuts. That's how it was scripted. That's how it was scripted. And I've never got uh, a chance to apologize to you okay. on national TV for misreading the card. OK. Yeah. So that's the accident, is you misread Wally's card. Yes, I got the words. OK, because yeah. I think you'll see by watching this clip that it also caught me off guard. Let's take a look. There you have it. That's how my week has been. I'm not complaining. I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. We got a great show. <laughs> great show tonight. Yeah. System of a Down is here. Oh. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm laughing, but I'm I'm hurting you, inside yeah, hurting because inside. I did not mean to do that. I, well, I hadn't watched that clip since then, and when I watched it, I hurt inside. It, it was a solid shot. It was a real solid shot. I, I don't want to get graphic, but I felt the whole outline of your business <laughs> on my hand, and you know, yeah, he's packing some lumber. Yeah, I will say, uh, I really when I I fell down, I both felt intense pain, and I but I will say, part of my brain thought. He's one of the best. <laughs> he's, he's, he's one of the best that ever did it. We had to go right into the next scene, though, yeah. and you were in such pain. <laughs> I felt almost terrible. You are really torn up about it. Um, congratulations. So this is a very uh, novel take on a phenomenon that's been happening a lot in the last decade plus about rebooting uh, classic sitcoms. Uh, but this is a really cool take on it. How would you explain reboot? Well, it's a show about a show. Uh, you know, we. The, the main characters, we all get a chance to, you know, we didn't get along when we first made the show. It was like a family ties type of, not family ties, but a- uh, Like family Full matters. house. Yeah, full house. A full yeah. house type of show. And then we get a chance 15 years, years later to remake the show and we all have our things, our obstacles. And, you know, I'm up, I play, well, picture this. I play a naughty comedian who has overdone <laughs> it in his past. Uh -huh. Maybe drank a little too much at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and stretch, as it's known in the acting bit. A stretch. And, but I'm just trying to do the best I can. Like every character on the show is trying to do the best they can, but we kind of get in our own ways. I, uh, I, I was mentioning this, uh, Steve was here recently, and I was talking about the, the last Jackass uh, movie. I did not, affected me in a way that I didn't think it would. I thought it was really funny, but I also, um, I, I felt uh, nostalgic. I oh. felt uh, it was genuinely emotional to see uh, so many of you still doing it all these years later. Does oh. it feel that way when you're together? First of all, thank you. And yeah, it does feel pretty wonderful when we're together. I mean, it's, it's nerve wracking and a lot of things, but I mean, we've been friends for 20 years and we created something that grew into whatever it is and uh, yeah. It's special. It's it cool to, I mean, nothing sort of endures that long. And it is, I think it reminds a lot of people about their friend groups, which is sort of lovingly idiotic. And yeah. that comes across all the time. Sure, everyone did 
silly things like this growing up with their friends and... Uh... We just didn't think to monetize it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, will you, uh, I know you've got kids, you've got some younger kids. Are they, do they find their way to Jackass? When do they, I mean, I can't imagine you show it to them. Okay, no, I, uh, <laughs> their friends have seen it. Right. And I think out of their friend group, my kids have seen it the least. Like I'll show them, as far as I know. Like, I'll yeah. show them a bit here and there, but nothing naughty or nothing where daddy gets knocked out or, yeah. you know. So, my oldest daughter, she was 14 when I let her go to the Jackass 3D premiere, and she had to sit right next to me, and I'm like, baby, you have to close your eyes in some parts, close your ears in others, and close both, and, you know. <laughs> and she did. She did? Yeah, I had to, and plus, I, my son is, my, the girls are smart. Yeah. Right? And Rocco's smart, but he's like, a little excitable. Yeah. And he wants to do that stuff, and I let him know that's not really going to happen. I mean, I can't imagine, because I'm always telling my kids, don't do that, it's dangerous, but I got to imagine it's so empty coming from you. No, no, no. <laughs> well, okay, that's fair. <laughs> if they crack a joke or something, I, 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 you know, if it's a little on the line, I'm like, that's all right. But yeah. I remember when they were real little, like, I was a helicopter parent, like, yeah. at the playground, because I don't want them to get hurt. Yeah, you know? so I would imagine, right. I was, uh, yeah, I don't know if it makes sense, but... I think it does make sense. Uh, certainly, you know the repercussions of it. I would just say, uh, I hope that uh, um, they don't make the mistake that I made and trust you. To, uh... <laughs> God forbid they trust their father. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It is always such a delight to see. to see you, old friend. Johnny Knoxville, new episode of Reboot, available to stream Tuesdays on Hulu. We'll be right back with Jake Lacey.